In Prince Rupert, there's been a collective sigh of relief. Sure, a long stretch of sunny weather lightened the mood, but so did the plummeting number of COVID cases. It's more positive kind of vibe that because so many people have had the have had the vaccination now, you know, you feel a little bit, you know, like you're taking steps forward instead of backwards. Rob Gruber got his first dose of the vaccine last month, along with 85% of adults who live in this northern coastal city. Bit of a poke. Prince Rupert was the site of a mass vaccination clinic because it was a COVID hotspot. Cases began surging in February, topping more than 100 a week for most of March. But recently, there's been a dramatic decline. Officials say the high uptake of vaccines is partially responsible for the big drop, along with residents following health protocols. We're not letting up. We're not taking our foot off the gas pedal. We know that we're not going to reach maximum efficiency of the vaccine until after our second dose, after a couple of weeks. So we are still subject to all of the same provincial restrictions. Where do these Targeting hotspots has been a big part of BC's vaccination strategy. Right now, there are clinics underway in Fraser Health for anyone over the age of 30. The fact that vaccines really look like it's really good at preventing infection means that we can use them to prevent transmission by vaccinating people with high contact and high risk. And that includes those on Vancouver's downtown east side. Cases were steady there throughout the fall. But after a vaccination drive that included teams going building to building, even setting up on street corners, about 10,000 got their shot. Two weeks following that intervention, we saw case rates plummet. And for the last five weeks, we've seen that plummeted rate sustain. Which is good news and reassuring for all communities as more and more people get vaccinated. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.